I guess that the, the COVID or the treatment of COVID by the uh, Orban government is, is very much characterizes the, the, the entire system and the working of the system, especially not in Hungary, uh, that the Orban government in the second and the third wave performed uh, very badly uh, on the front of, of COVID. Hungary has still has the highest mortality rate pro 1 million person. Almost 3,000 people died out of 1 million, which is, which is very high. But in the lack of, of free media, no one is really talking about that. Everyone uh, and the Orban uh, media is talking about the high rate of, of vaccination and not about the, the deaths, which is a consequence of the previous, previous uh, treatment, bad treatment of the, of the pandemic, not to speak about buying mostly Chinese and Russian vaccines. So those uh, 5 million people out of the almost 10 who are vaccinated, in a high number, they are vaccinated with an ineffective or not provenly effective Chinese vaccine or the, the Russian vaccine, which is not approved by the European uh, agency. In other words, uh, the popularity of the Orban government did not go down despite the fact that, that the government performed so badly on the front of, of the pandemic. And the other issue that Orban was the first to use uh, the pandemic to introduce uh, an emergency power, even increasing the unbound executive uh, power, even violating its own constitution. So in other words, I would say that, that here again, my thesis is that this is not so much populism. Uh, the rhetoric is populist, but the very pursuit of this government is to keep its uh, autocratic power. <laughs>